Rivera and I nominated Isol Herrera and I believe that he should be nominated as a District 5 hero because he is the true definition of a hero. He's not only a great family man who takes great pride in his family but he also takes great pride in community and he has the foundations that community is important and we should, we should always go out and help the community and help whatever we can do and that's why I believe he should be a hero because a hero is someone who goes and helps out people and that's exactly what he does. One thing that really inspired me from him was he created the Latino Role Model Conference, which is an educational conference primarily focused on the East Side San Jose. And it's a conference to educate the youth about going to college. And they also bring in real life role models. And it inspired me because now that I am 19, when I graduate college, I plan to take it over. And you know, he didn't have to create that conference. And creating that conference has inspired so many young kids. And that is why he deserves this. Dr. George Castro has gone above and beyond um, in his service to the community here in Al Rock by devoting so much of his own time and his own resources to creating a beautiful, exciting program for youth at Joseph George Middle School. He has created a learning environment in which students can discover that they can be mathematicians, scientists, or engineers. And that gift of resources and time is truly invaluable. We can't put a price tag on what he's given to the community in inspiring so many so many youth who come through his program every year. It's, his program is every day after school um, and he's got a wonderful team that works with him. Dr. George Castro could have just retired and golfed and just played around but he has decided to devote his time and energy to the youth of the community, not just at Joseph George Middle School, uh, but also through Enlace, a program at Evergreen College where he encourages youth to really pursue careers and further education beyond the community college setting. He's very much uh, a hero in this community and a very humble role model for many. Judy is extremely organized and very compassionate. And she's very passionate about what she does. But no one would ever realize how much energy she has to put to these things because she's always so calm. She was the mover and pusher and shaker for it all. And without her, that never would have happened. And it's only because, number one, she never gives up. Number two, she finds the resources that are necessary to get things done. And everybody knows she can be depended upon. She never turns her back. She never shows any kind of weakness in our tasks and our work to do. And that's why I think she goes above and beyond what everybody else can do. People can join in. People can join in and they can say, well, what do I, what do I need to do to help? Judy never says that. She goes, here's what we're going to do, here's what I'm going to do. And she does things that nobody even expects that need to be done. And she gets it done by herself as the leader, as the person takes the first step. And that's why she goes above and beyond. She is fearless. And that's why she, I see that her going above and beyond. I think she's calm because she researches all the events, everything that she walks, everything that she puts her efforts and energy to. She researches all the avenues of solving the problem. She doesn't focus on the problem, she focuses on solving the problem. And that's why she's so effective and why she's my hero because she doesn't focus on any of the negative, she focuses on what can we do. And because of that, her personality, she draws people to support her. That's the kind of person I want to be around. That's the kind of person I think that the kind of hero that we need more of in this society. nominated Sylvia Villarreal as a neighborhood hero because of the impact that she has made on our family and on the school that's behind me here. She helped turn the failing Lester Shields School into the thriving Russo and McEntee Academies that you see now. In our own lives, in our family, we had a foster son who came to us in April 2010 and we brought him down to the school and they got him enrolled right away. He was here for about two months at the school and on the last day of school he asked 
Sylvia to attend his birthday party a couple of weeks later. What impressed me most was she attended the event and she even brought her husband. That's the kind of person that she was. She didn't necessarily know us or him that well, but she wanted us to feel welcome, and she did. Tanya always goes above and beyond what's expected of her. I don't know what her middle name is, but it should be service. Tanya absolutely gives all of herself to everything that she ever gets involved with. She was on the school board for Alan Rock uh, School District. She was fantastic. She was the only member who went the extra length to understand what the job meant and to do it right. Hi, I'm Darlene Tennis, and I nominated my mother to be a District 5 hero. Why did I nominate my mother? Because she is fabulous. She does so much for the community. She was one of the found co-founders of PAC, People Acting in Community, together probably over 30 years ago. It was originally the East um, Downtown organize, Organizing Project, and it came about to just bring community neighbors together to change, make a change, make a difference in the neighborhoods. They worked on everything from bringing the neighborhood school centers, after school projects, the graffiti programs, um, Children's Healthcare Initiative. PACT has been a great, great um, program for the entire community and all the neighborhoods of San Jose. As well as doing that, she worked on Rainbows, and Rainbows is a grief support program for children who have gone through death, divorce, and separation from a loved one. There are many children in our community that have lost parents through violence or have lost parents um, through suicides, unfortunately, or because they've been incarcerated, or they just have not been a part of their lives. And she is able to give these children support and comfort in a welcoming environment where they're with other kids that have gone through the same thing as they have. And so it's been a great support to the children and their entire families. She did that for about 18 years. I think the reason why my mother goes above and beyond again is because of her faith. But you know, she's, a lot of people don't realize this, but she's 80 years old and she's still, to this day, is running around the community, going to meetings and doing things. And she is very much, um, if you go to her home, there are always people in her home that she is guiding and counseling on a one-on-one -on -one basis too, and encouraging them and creating additional leaders. So I think the biggest thing about her being a leader is that she has taught other people to be leaders, which is really important. Hi, my name is Kimberly Rocha. I am a parent at Adelante Do Language Academy. I am currently a co-chair for the parent coordinator uh, volunteer organization that we have. Um, I nominated Sandra because I feel that she goes above and beyond what a principal needs to um, in order to make sure that Adelante is successful. Um, she takes, makes the extra effort to, to be there for um, different events um, and I think that as, as a parent, I also have children there, as a parent it's nice to know that your children walk around campus and their principal will see them and know their name off the top of her head. There is 540 kids currently at Adelante and Sandra could probably name every single one of them by first name and last name.